Okay, welcome everyone. Just take a minute to make sure everybody's let in and we can get started here in a, in a moment. Good to see good to see you all again. Thanks for joining us. That was a, a really great session we had with Alex Kirstan. Very much appreciated. And uh, and thanks for all, thanks to everyone for engaging and um, you know, participating and bringing your questions. I think it really made it for uh, an even better session than it would have been to just have so much engagement and interaction. Um, Isaac, what is your, what is your uh, preference for engagement and interaction? Do you, would you rather talk for a little bit and then have a Q and A period? Uh, do you want people to be able to kind of cut in and, and discuss? It's really up to you what works best for you. Well, I have material enough for probably four and a half hours, and then we four can and a half hours? together. But okay. I will try to go fast. What I would like to do is show you my way for being equipped. For people okay. with a little bit less experience, it will probably, I will not be in position to teach a class how to do one specific task. I will right. try to do it with one or two topics. To slow down otherwise i'll say here what i have here how i put it together and move on my classes usually go fast okay and we'll try to cover for every level of experience or inexperience just to give you some ideas okay uh, but excellent. if you have questions during the break pose the question and i will try to please okay you. perfect so it sounds like it's easier for you to just kind of keep going keep you on task keep and get going, through a bunch of yeah. stuff Okay. All right. That sounds great. Um, I got a little bit of a jitter on your internet, although it seems the signal's probably coming through okay. But just uh, keep an ear out for me. I'll let you know if there's uh, we need to like pause and okay. and uh, have you say something again or something like that. But it's yeah. it's running pretty steady. Okay. Excellent. Well, I'll give an introduction to you and your presentation, and then basically I'll I'll leave it to you to uh, keep running with it. So. I'll introduce Isaac Sadogursky. He is uh, he has established his business by serving both large accounts and individual customers. He's based in LA and broadly experienced serving institutions, musicians, venues, recording studios, and private homes. He is a well-known piano industry veteran who's committed to helping his fellow tech. He is also known throughout the piano community for his musical ear resulting from his years of classical music conservatory training. And in a little blurb about his class today, he wants to take about two hours to show and tell ideas about packing special tools, parts, and supplies, and to do specific, not so common field or shop repairs. About 30 plus kits will be discussed and some actual demonstration will be done. You can have your notebooks ready and lots of information will be shared. So I'll hand it over to you, Isaac, and, and you can get started just shout out if you need anything from me i'll probably be off camera for most of the presentation okay thank you yeah i have great tech support here eric raudenberg alumni from the north Bennett school and wesley williams just starting so they will be helping me with the high tech stuff my name is isaac sadigurski i'm a member of ptg since 1975 and uh, mostly work in private homes. I try to avoid concert stages and all that. I have done it and uh, I have my personal reasons. I will show you maximalistic way of putting stuff together. All my professional life, I was driving a van, full-size van equipped for any unusual stuff. I could end up 30 and 50 miles away from home. And when you need a little tool, a little that, experience will tell you how to pack. For people who live in Boston, Manhattan, San Francisco, where you rely on public transportation, it's a totally different approach. And you will be better off attending Dan Levitan's class about uh, how to put stuff, you know, minimal stuff and travel with uh, just a briefcase. So the first thing, what I do when I enter the house, I like to keep few things in my 
luggage. I travel with the luggage, wheeled luggage case, like you go to the airport on the travels, and I will try to show you briefly to what, what I do. Maybe you can adapt something to make your life a little bit easier. So this is ordinary piano bench, but imagine this is a vertical piano. I like to carry my own light, okay, on a big clamp, and clamp is protected with plastic tubing, so it will not scratch the cabinet of the piano. So I have a good light. I have a good support for the lid. It's very sophisticated and you can attach, you can do adjustments and leave it as high, as low as you want. And the magnetic dish is put together on a little lace. So if I take out any cabinet screws, they are here on a magnet and they don't get lost. So I hope I made myself clear with that. So Wesley, let's put this down and uh, Keep on. Let, me, let me cut in here real briefly. Let me cut in here real briefly. I see someone's got a phone that they're filming with. Is that something that's going to the Zoom as well, or is that just another camera someone's uh, someone's using? We have, two, we have two cameras. Yeah, we have two cameras here. You so you have another one that's going into the Zoom? Yes. Okay. What's the name on that camera? That way, I can switch to it as necessary. Uh, it should it should say Isaac Sadagursky on there as well. It'll say Isaac Sadagursky as well. Okay, cool. I'll keep my yeah. eye out for that and I'll I'll switch to that camera accordingly. Okay, thanks. You can continue for now, um, and I okay. will. Uh, I'll so to keep this is my magic extension cord, and it has light in it. So if I'm twenty feet away, plugging into the wall outlet. It shows me immediately that there is power, so I don't have to run back and forth. And as there is enough outlet for my cyber tuner and anything else. And another hidden secret and very convenient thing in my daily life is, who is this rubber? Okay. Rubberized yoga mat, uh, little blanket. So with the rubberized section, it never slides. I can sit on it and the blanket will stay there and I will never be accused of scratching customer's piano page. Are we clear on that? Sounds good. Little plastic bag filled with different diameter of inner diameter plastic tubes. And I can protect L-shaped L-shaped pins in the lid hinges. I can protect little bolts sticking out of the piano bench so little kids will not scratch themselves. And inner tubing also will work well on putting together broken hammer shank. If it breaks along the length, glue and plastic tubing little ring will keep it together. No, re no reason to use uh, threads. And the blades are there as well. And always extra protection is bungee cord. Next, next little innovation. <laughs> is my collection of tuning mutes. Okay, I can do pitch raise with the mutes. I can do well-maintained piano with just two rubber mutes. Doesn't matter. But for pitch raises, for moving fast and completing it in 15, 20 minutes, different types of different things of muting are needed. Now, I see people quite often are playing a very neat person and they put mutes together and this can eat up about 27 seconds of your life to put it nice and neat, okay? My 
opposition to that is our fingers are sweaty, full of chemicals. It goes into the felt and then transfers to the wires. So if you still prefer to put them together, put it together twice. And now you will do it in nine seconds. If you prefer to do that. I prefer to put them in a nice little zippered bags and nobody will see it and it's ready to go. So unpacking, packing goes very fast. Because we work, I work on different types of pianos with different types with of tuning pins. Some people carry one, two and three tuning hammers. I prefer to carry just one. But if I have to change the tip, here is the dilemma. If I will use traditional Z-shaped tool, it will take some time to break it, some tapping, and then replace it and tightening it. So it's a much faster approach if I will have appropriate tip removed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it's out. And head and tip together, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'm ready to go. And tip number one is marked with red tape. Tip number two is the yellow. And tip number three is green, very easy to find. And I have a long one, I have a shorty one, I have thin wall one, and uh, things go much, much faster with that. And I'm very much against using uh, screwdriver blades, Phillips, and for tightening the plates. It chews up the tip and it uh, becomes very, very loose prematurely. And that's as much as I can tell you about the tuning hammer. Mostly it's number three and guys will put it back together. Also, I have number four with four rings. If somebody replaced tuning pins, rebuilt piano with number four, five, and six tuning pins, uh, you need number four tip and chef sells them. Tuning hammer is protected in a pouch, easy to find. And let's talk a little bit about key easing. We confront this problem quite often. And in our super pregnant toolboxes now, 